Hello everyone, Suzy Gaming here and welcome to Instruments of Destruction. It's a vehicle building sandbox featuring advanced physics based destruction. Create crazy construction vehicles and use them to demolish buildings and complete various objects. So it's basically a game similar to the teardown but it has a builder mechanic in it. This game released at beginning of March this year by Radiant Games. Fairly new. So today I'm gonna check out some uh, builds from the workshop made by players. Hammer Time version 3. Holy smokes, that's a cool animation. Ooh. Okay. We have movements like this. Oh my god, whoa! Damn, that was smooth. Hammer back. That is extremely cool. Alright, let's go a bit forward. Um, it doesn't want, like to move that much. Come on, go forward, go forward. Go forward. Okay, this photo. Oh, here we go, it's moving. Up. Oh. Not gonna lie, that's epic. I played a lot of builder games. This is even more epic than the teardown. Uh, I have... I'm dropping to 45 FPS. But usually it's around, around 50, yeah. So optimization is not the best, but it's not the worst either. This is like Besiege on steroids. Wow. Here we go. And I like how it deploys the legs and transforms the tracks as well. This one is a bit spooky. Right, here we go. Um. Oh god. So these are the drills. Okay. These dudes are just drilling. And we have this cool transformation that is kind of spooky. Um Pressing up, down, up, down. Yeah, that's insane. Like, wow. The quality of physics are quite impressive and parts are not despawning. This is a bit weak build, not gonna lie. I think it's the, yeah, it's the same creator. He's keep making Gundam type of robots. And they look extremely epic. Check this guy out. What the hell? It's just half of the robot. Okay. God Rhino. Here we go. What you can do? Left shift. Oh my. What, what the hell? Okay. We have missile pots or something. Oh. Where are they going? Okay. It doesn't seem like we want to move. Maybe this is like a prototype build. Okay, let's spawn the other one. Look all at the, all of the particle effects there. Oh, this one has legs. It's basically a Gundam. Wow. Here we go. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> right, we have our swords. There's a lot of controls here. Which one to press? Oh, we have laser vision. 
Okay. F. H. R. Oh, we're moving! We're moving! Whoa! <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> um. You almost made it, Gundam. Oh god. <laughs> uh, I don't know what the hell is going on, but it looks epic. Here we go. Take this, you little buildings. Yep. I'm coming back. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. Whoa. Okay, just gonna use my head and shoulder. My whole body. Instead of swords. That's epic. Like, I have nothing to say. Uh, fire effects, smoke effects. Better than Besiege. Alright. Oh, we're going to space, okay. <laughs> liftoff, we have liftoff. Imagine the multiplayer. Back to the islands. Never mind. Okay, this is the end of the Gundam. Uh, yeah, this map is quite well. Oh, we're sinking, by the way. Rest in peace. All right. Here we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm holding the W. And... That's a 20 FPS right there. But it's worth it. Look at all those parts. They're not despawning. I don't see any parts despawning, so that's cool. Wow. Cool idea, but as you can see... It's a bit problematic. I don't know what's happening. Maybe one of the sections got uh, turned. Okay, here we go. Now it's controllable again. Yeah, I cannot turn now. It won't turn. This worm is broken now. But yeah, cool design. It's the workshop that always amazes me in the building games. You guys are coming out with really cool stuff. Pulsar Reactor. Now, why is that name sounds familiar? Oh, I can s spawn ammo by per pressing E. Look, the amount is getting increased. It's insane. Okay. Ready to fire? Let's do this. Come on. Oh my god. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> okay. building is collapsing and why is it slow motion all right that is cool I guess look it's sucking all of the parts what the f okay okay it's like that scene from Transformers 2. Try something else. Whoa. I just click at the flip and this happens. Oh boy. Oh boy. Hey. I know what's going on. Okay, we're gonna cut the building and just gonna throw it away. Literally. That's simply genius. <laughs> okay, I'm, let me just... Alright, that's, that's how it works. Okay. Let's flip this. 
So I'm just gonna take this. And go away. Well. Where did it go? Wait. Seriously, where did it go? I'm gonna switch to the free cam immediately, as soon as I throw it. So we can see what happens to it. While it's flying. Alright guys, you ready? Go! Alright. Here we go. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Oh god. Here we go. Oh boy. Oh boy. That doesn't look epic at all. <laughs> oh no, oh god. Yeah, this build is extremely unstable. They're always like stuck in to each other like that. Whoa! When they stuck like that, they're actually creating a velocity there. So that gives an extra boost. Still a really lame vehicle. Didn't like it. L. Laser. And we're just standing up. That's cool. That's really cool. And we can turn like this. And we can also switch the camera mode to the first person, right? Okay. Follow. Transform and roll out. Hundred guns. the hell? Oh my god. It's a transformer. <laughs> well, that actually got me curious. What the hell is going on? It's like ultimate destruction. Okay. It's like Carpet cannon. Yeah, I'm gonna call it like that. That's crazy. The ultimate aerial damage weapon. Wow. That is insane. Like, in what else game you can see something like this? It's crazy. I'm actually gonna do it again. I'm not doing anything. I'm not pressing anything. What the hell happening? Okay. Transform! It's transforming back as well, which is really cool.
Fire. Found the old ship. Yes. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> that's side cannons, right? By the way, check out how cannons are retracting and stuff. That's actually really cool. Ooh, what's at the back? Oh, that's a, like a turbo booster. Okay. Um, we also have laser in front. So this is like a futuristic Viking ship. That's awesome. Right. Broadside. Fire. Fire. That's really cool. Too bad there is no multiplayer, but what kind of computer would have handled this anyways? Imagine two players just spamming the shit out of this cannon. Yeah. This thing have a really weird firing mechanism. Something is happening inside, but... <laughs> I don't know what the hell is going on. I'm just gonna drive this AT-80 straight into the building. Go AT-80 go! Imagine you're working and suddenly 880 going through your building. Not a pleasant experience. The description said there is a surprise inside. Let's see what kind of surprise it is. Also, this building is really popular in workshop. Okay, good mobility. Oops. We don't need that. Doesn't seem like I can shut off the booster. Not good. Oh god. E. Okay, I see a little drone there. Oh god, that's cute. T. G F H Oh god <laughs> Okay, well, well The little boy bro That's awesome You don't need big builds. This one is enough as well. Wow. That's a cool drone there. A really cool build. Alright, and the last build is force fields. Or maybe I need to... Okay, yeah, it's it has that magnet thingy. Where's the force field? Huh? 
Oh, there it is. Okay, nice. And I believe the parts that's flying around also can destroy buildings. Let's check out on that tower there. No? Apparently they cannot. Would have been a cool feature. Alright guys, so that was the instruments of destruction. If you think that you can build better builds and also want to check this game out, I'll put this game links in the description. Go check it out since there's Steam sale as well now. It looks gorgeous, but yeah, since it's a single player, eventually you might get bored and there's not many maps actually. You just keep destroying the buildings. But overall, it's a really unique game, if you're gonna ask me. Overall, animations are solid, and I actually can recommend this game to you. So that's it, I'll see you in the next video, and peace out.